question. Because look at all you're doing. Look at what your objective is. Who wouldn't want to support that? Nevertheless, you just articulated it's a challenge. Yes. Could it be that it's a challenge because of what you stand on and how principled you are and you're not somebody that, dare we say, is going to play the game that corporate America might want you to play? You ever thought about that? I hate the term play the game. I know. What, what? A lot of us do. It's That's a real thing. Everybody's doing it. From the average working person all the way up to even the guys that are quote unquote billionaires that don't necessarily own their own company. They some of them are still working for somebody. So they are playing a corporate game. And for the modern day athlete of today, the corporate game is really representing nothing. You don't say too much, you don't take certain stances, you sort of become this universal figure. And in a way, your fame and your success, you become almost a slave to it. Very similar to Michael Jordan. You know he doesn't make any public appearances too much. He doesn't really say much. Same thing for Barack Obama. His words are very carefully crafted. He can't lean one way or another. He always has to toe the line in the middle. His brand is just way too big. 2024. Right. Like, it's a different game okay. than it was in 1985. Okay. S similar people that are moving to pieces, but the game is different. I think that this generation has the, the prowess to be able to do a lot of different things that maybe the generation that came before wasn't able to. Do the in a way, the internet has become almost a flying car for this new generation of players. Social media and technology has given them a leverage that corporate America used to have over them which is the distribution of just broadcasting themselves to the world that is a major power right now everyone can just do it with the device that's just in their pocket and a lot of industries have been shaken up through this disruption just think about the angel reese and caitlin clark situation they were more viral stars in college than most male athletes in the similar field and also the professional women in the WNBA. Those girls are 10 times more popular. And that's all due to social media and just them being able to display their personalities online and people just sharing their viral moments. When something catches on fire online, there's no marketing from corporate America that could even have the same impact, no matter how much dollars are spent. Power of social media through the lens of like just the media in general multiple people are starting platforms multiple people are entrepreneurs and working for themselves so before like the social norms of like corporate america is like man you gotta dress a certain way speak a certain way you know be a certain way you gotta have a college degree to be successful this is what i view as playing the game mm -hmm. 2024 i think that still exists mm -hmm. but we've seen that game change mm -hmm. where now you could be yourself right. you could dress casually or however you feel comfortable you can have red blue yellow green hair and people are still accept you if you're good at your craft right i think that game is is changing mm -hmm. maybe it hasn't changed completely yet um but that's what i want people to recognize as well that the game is changing mm -hmm. it is not the same and it's it's our responsibility that the next 20 to 50 mm -hmm. years looks different than it looks right now and also it takes certain stars to become brave like lebron james when he had left cleveland to change that paradigm and allow other guys to actually take control of their careers and he took all the bullets for that he took all the bullets for that when he initially went to miami but look now the generation behind him follow in his footsteps and now that is the norm so it takes bravery from today's current stars but because some of them are tied to some of these corporate sponsors and just these large contracts the more money these guys make the more they are controlled Devil's advocate with you. You started off this this interview interviewing me, asking me questions, right? And we were talking about me in this industry. Let me tell you what the dilemma that I have, and you tell me how you feel about it. I don't want to dress in a damn suit every day. I like my suits. I really do. I like to dress sharp, you know. But I don't feel like dressing like that every day.
coming on the air knowing that hundreds of thousands are watching live that millions in my case billions might be watching on video on, on social media and video over the course of a, of a calendar year etc cetera, etc cetera. I know that there's a responsibility that comes with that mm -hmm. because I'm saying yeah I can do it now I can show up in a warm-up suit on the air right now I can you know I can, I can do what I, I can do a lot of things that the typical person can't do but if I'm setting that kind of example I can get away with it but most people on the come up can't. And so I have a responsibility to allow them to see what, quote unquote, the words we hate, the game that has to be played. You're trying to show them that you are somebody that's averse to that kind of thinking. I guess what I'm asking is with all that you're accomplishing, I'm not talking about you just as an individual, as a player, but with what you're doing in the community and the help that you need from those outside to help you do you feel compelled at all to capitulate in any way to serve the greater good do i yes <laughs> no <laughs> but uh no i hear what you're saying and i and i understand it like i said the game hasn't completely changed and people have to do what needs to be done mm -hmm. and there's nothing but respect in that but i feel like i'm in a position where i don't have to do that mm -hmm. and um just through my influence and through who i am that i could represent and create a paradigm shift as well mm -hmm. for athletes to think differently, to understand their value in a different way. Um, and if not from an athlete perspective, even expand it to society as well. Um, but what I represent and what I speak for is the next generation of athletes. Mm -hmm. And I know what we go through as well is mm -hmm. what people in corporate America yeah. are going through at the same time. So I understand it. Like your example was right. you wearing a suit on TV for first take and that's you know considered industry standard like nothing is wrong with that I think that um, I was just using that as a yeah. an analogy to how you know how mm -hmm. someone dresses um, is attached to a certain level of professionalism at least mm -hmm. in the past and it is still but and a lot of times people showing up to meetings that I'll I be at and they be in stuff like this right yeah. I feel you it's definitely about the next generation Guys like Luka, Jason Tatum, as well as Jalen Brown, De'Aaron Fox, guys in that era, that 2017, 2018 class, the type of money these guys are set up to make. And if the TV deal continues to be going well, guys in the future could continue to make even more money and their influences should go beyond basketball. So Tatum is right about that, but it requires the stars of today to take certain chances. They don't have to go overboard, but they should make more impactful and strategic decisions, whether it be how these shoe deals are constructed with the royalty rates or them continuing on what Kobe was attempting to do before he passed away, which is leave Nike and link up with a couple of venture capitalists and come out with his own shoe line, take control of production of the shoe, link up with the right people that have capital that can help with the manufacturing, taking full responsibility of their brand and their craft. That is a major paradigm shift because today just signing and getting a sponsorship deal is viewed so highly. It's almost like the musicians from years ago just being happy to get a record deal. But now it's what are the terms of those record deal is a discussion. And the same thing can happen here. But these are interesting times. The landscape is definitely ever changing and it's good to see Jalen Brown being able to voice with Stephen A. Smith his uh his angst some of his issues and this is the power of this landscape right now Stephen A. Smith is on his own platform he himself is playing the corporate game he's trying to utilize and make his uh network ESPN understand his value they're trying to go direct to consumer they're going to need new faces new personalities to make sure that people continue to pay a subscription monthly and he's one of the premier faces that have helped espn remain number one stay on top and he definitely should be cashing in on that value the deal that he's fighting for not only helps him but it helps future generations because if he takes a lesser deal the generations behind him will be picking up the scraps so there you have it there is definitely a major paradigm shift due to the technological landscape 
the modern day work structure is changing as well as people's optionality thus changing the way that they behave there's a lot of parallels of the way this situation relates to everyday life